we designed the ExoVest to deliver power without pain for professionals who work with their arms overhead. You put the vest on like a backpack, turn on the lift assist, and you're ready to go. The ExoVest uses springs to lift your arms. The kicker is, it's all mechanical. No batteries, no motors. The ExoVest is perfect for manufacturing and a variety of overhead applications. We can't wait to see what you'll do with it. Hi, I'm Claire from ExoBionics. In this short video, you will learn everything you need to know to get started with your ExoVest. Here's a list of topics that we will be covering. You can jump to any section by clicking on the chapters icon down here. All right, let's get started. Your ExoVest only works if it fits properly. Before putting it on, you'll use your operator manual to find your size for these four components. The torso tube, the hip belt, the arm cuffs, and the arm straps. To find your torso tube setting, measure your torso length from the top of your pelvic bone to the top of your shoulder. Zach's is 20 inches, so he'll slide the torso tube setting to A. For the hip belt, find your pelvic bone below the waist, measure your torso circumference, and write this number down. Zach's is 41 inches, so using the table, he'll grab a large, extra large hip belt. You'll need to take two measurements for the arm cuffs. First, measure your upper arm length from your armpit to the edge of your elbow, then your arm circumference just above the elbow joint. Finally, measure your bicep diameter to find the arm strap size. Now that you have your hip belt, arm cuffs, and arm straps, it's time to get them on your ExoVest. You'll have to install the soft goods if you're setting up a new ExoVest, or swap them if you're getting one from someone else. Make sure the hip belt is right side up and the waist plate is fully seated in the pockets. Velcro and buckle both sides of the hip belt. Then attach the shoulder straps. It might be easier to lay the exo vest flat on the table to do this. Grab the left arm cuff Slide it onto the left rail, then fasten all three snaps. Attach the right arm cuff the same way. Attach the upper arm straps by snapping them to the back of the arm cuffs. If you're working overhead, you can attach the neck roll for added support. This is what your exo vest should look like when it's fully assembled. Make sure all the exo logos are right side up. Your exo vest is powered by springs. Level 1 gives you the least assistance, while level 4 gives you the most. We recommend that you start with level one springs, but if you feel that you need more assistance, you can swap them out. You might also need to change them if you're getting the exo vest from someone else or if you're switching to a new task or tool. Remember, you can use a different spring level on each side. Zach is moving up to level two springs to get more assistance. To swap a spring, hold the arm cuff firmly, turn on the actuator, and carefully rotate the arm cuff up to the end of its travel. Unscrew the spring like a light bulb. Install the new spring and tighten it until you can't see the threads. Then move the arm cuff to the down position and turn the actuator off. If you are unable to tighten or loosen the spring by hand, don't take a wrench to it. 
make sure the actuator is on and in the up position. If you need further assistance, consult your operator manual. Your ExoVest provides support only when you need it. You can relax your arms at your sides without fighting it. As you raise your elbows, you'll feel the springs kick in. This is the beginning of the activation zone. You can adjust the activation zone to have support kick in higher or lower, but the standard setting is recommended for most applications. If you do need to adjust it, Hold the arm cuff firmly, turn on the actuator, and carefully rotate the arm cuff up to the end of its travel. Using a 4 mm hex key, loosen either screw on the split clamp of the actuator. Rotate the actuator to H to have support kick in higher during your arm's travel, or rotate it to L to have support kick in lower. Tighten the screw securely, return the arm cuff to the down position, and turn the actuator off. Here you can see how this adjustment moves the activation zone up and down. Your ExoVest is like a backpack with a few more straps and a lot more power. It takes less than a minute to put on. Put your arms through the shoulder straps. Buckle the hip belt so it wraps around your pelvic bone and cinch it tight. Making sure the hip belt is tight will ensure your exovest stays in place throughout the day. If you need a longer hip belt, you can attach the extender. Once the hip belt is in the right position, the tops of the actuators should align with the top of your shoulders. If your actuators are too high or too low, adjust the numbered torso tube setting until they are properly aligned. Another way to check your torso setting is to ensure the blue dot is in line with the center of your shoulder when your arm is parallel to the ground. Loosely buckle the chest strap to keep the shoulder straps in place while you work. Slip your forearm through the safety strap and position the arm cup so the end is just above your bent elbow. Buckle and tighten the lower arm strap first, then buckle, tighten, and clamp the upper arm strap. Repeat this with the other arm cuff. When you take off your exovest, make sure the actuators are turned off. It's easiest to remove your exovest in the reverse order, ending with the hip belts and shoulder straps. Your ExoVest is all mechanical. No batteries, no motors. When you turn the actuator on, you're just unlocking the springs. To turn an actuator on or off, place your arm at your side and pull the tether to flip the switch. If it's easier, you can grab the tether first and then place your arm by your side. As you raise your arms, you'll feel the assistive boost of your ExoVest. Now you're ready to get to work. In this video, we've covered everything you need to know to get started with your ExoVest. Just remember three things. One, your ExoVest only works if it's correctly fitted to your body. Know your measurements. Two, your ExoVest only works if the hip belt is positioned properly over your hip bones and cinched tightly. If it's above or below, it's uncomfortable. Three, your exovest only works when your arms are in the activation zone. The farther your elbows are from your sides, the more your exovest helps. Remember, you can rewatch any part of this video by clicking on the chapter icon down here. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.